Hi everyone, I'm Nisha and welcome to TL Syntax. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the month of August journal prompts. Now, in case you're not familiar with these series, I have been making journal prompts for every month since the month of January. Uh, I used to make these videos on my previous channel, which is South Asian Mystic. But uh, after that, I changed over to TL Syntax. So I will link the playlist in this video in the end cards. And I will put down the links to the uh, couple of the other month's uh, journal prompts videos in the description box. So you can go check it out. Uh, in this video for August month journal prompts, I thought I'll do something different. Today, I thought I can... Uh, take this time to use another deck that uh, I seldom use or uh, you know outside or on video which is the show me spread deck now this spread deck is basically a group of questions which we can use to pull tarot cards and oracle cards or write as journal prompts so in today's video for August month uh, journal prompts I thought we can use the prompts on the show me cards as the questions and the prompts for what we want to explore so let's get started so in today's video i wanted to talk of how we view ourselves in terms to our relationships and uh, the cards that uh, i have chosen as the crux of the issue are the love i squander and the love i take for granted now you can choose either one of these questions to work with and what i mean is is there a love that you squander that you know you have someone's love uh, and they love you so much they are willing to do anything for you but uh, uh, are you unwilling to commit yourself to them are you unwilling to give your love to them is there a love that you are squandering or if you want to try something else then consider the other question love I take for granted you know this person loves you a lot and they're willing to do anything for you so you have a tendency to use that to your advantage whether consciously or unconsciously you're not really sure but you want to use it to your advantage advantage you want to you um, have noticed a pattern where you might be taking someone that you love or who loves you for granted so now you can choose either one of these questions to work on what I want you to do is consider the question that you've selected or if you want to work on both that's perfectly fine as well so consider the questions for example your question the, qu the prompt that you want to work on is the love I squander in that case just consider your relationships now these don't have to be just romantic relationships these can be relationships with your friends with your parents with your siblings with your neighbors um, with your best friends with your teachers or whoever any relationship you know it can it can be related to that so consider your various relationships and try to see which relationships fall into this category do you squander any relationships do you uh, find yourself being unable to commit to, to people do you find yourself unable to connect to people on an emotional level D uh, have you squandered opportunities to make friends have you squandered opportunities to build professional relationships consider that with the same way the love i take for granted which one of these relationships in your life do you have a tendency to take for granted is there someone who you feel you know you might not have any bad intentions you you might just be doing this because of your intense you know, you know familiarity and intimacy with that person but do you find yourself that you're taking them for granted uh, so ask yourself these questions and note down which, which relationships these are and in that way you can uh, you can even describe these relationships you can talk of you know how this relationship came about when did this uh, switch happen wherein from a conventional relationship to you know it became to one where there was one person who might have been in a position of greater power than the other or a situation where you are finding that you've squandered the opportunity to develop deeper bonds with this other individual so ask yourself and explore each relationship in your life or maybe consider just one relationship and uh, explore these two questions or any one of the questions that you feel comfortable with. Now once you have written down or uh, considered the question that you've selected, we have the next question or the next prompt which is the sabotage in my heart. Now the reason I've chosen this card is because ultimately whatever happens whatever uh, however our relationships play out they can thrive because of certain personal traits but at the same time they can also be 
uh, crushed because of certain personal traits and often when it comes to relationships the op- we see many people and i see this in myself as well the tendency to self sabotage is always there in some people the self sabotage self sabotage is minimal but in other people the self sabotage is pretty severe so i want you to consider whichever relationship you've been exploring right now whatever the problem is that you've been exploring right now ask yourself have i done anything to sabotage this relationship this could be conscious sabotage where you do something knowing that you know this is going to affect the quality of your relationship or the consequences of your relationship or is this an unknown unconscious sabotage where you don't realize this is happening but it's become a pattern and unfortunately it's a toxic pattern so you've recognized the pattern in the first two questions when we addressed you know which is is there a love that i squander is there a love that i take for granted you identified that there could possibly be a toxic pattern happening now with the sabotage in my heart in this prompt we are looking at is this toxic pattern a result of conscious decisions and conscious actions or is this the result of an unconscious decision making and unconscious and untargeted actions so where is the sabotage coming from so i want you to explore that explore what the sabotage looks like do you remember a particular behavior or a thought process that pops into your mind when you are about to exhibit behaviors where you ultimately end up either squandering or taking for granted a particular relationship uh is there a particular series of events that uh, take place or as a particular se- you know set of external situations that make you behave this way so ask yourself these questions so you can identify is there a sabotage pattern that i am exhibiting that i may or may not be aware about because when you know what the sabotage looks like when you know what leads up to the sabotage you are able to stop yourself from actively sabotaging your own relationships and again like i mentioned this does not have to be only romantic relationships it can be all types of relationships now we look at the a uh, next prompt that i've pulled for the august month which is you know once you figure out what the sabotage is ask yourself what is the want of my heart what do i truly want out of this relationship is it something positive in the sense that you do you want to nurture this relationship do you want to continue uh, being in whatever professional or personal relationship that you are with this individual or is the sabotage happening because ultimately you don't really want to be in a relationship with this person you don't want to be friends with this person they are draining you emotionally they are taking advantage of you physically you know um, and it could i could it could also be any sort of uh, trauma uh and these are very sensitive topics right and you might not have had the opportunity um uh, or you might not have felt comfortable enough to discuss these issues with somebody else and so i want you to ask yourself why am i sabotaging this relationship why am i squandering this relationship why am i taking this relationship for granted and this squandering taking for granted can appear in any form it doesn't necessarily mean you know like physically you know taking someone for granted by forcing them to do your chores it doesn't have to be that you know you know someone has a crush on you but you deliberately um make them believe that you're not interested squandering so these are just a couple of ways in which they manifest but these could be completely unique and individual to you and your life so ask yourself what is it that you want out of your life do you want to continue and nurture this relationship or do you want to uh, stop and remove that particular relationship from your life because that is perfectly all right there is nothing wrong if you feel like you put in a lot of your time and effort and energy into a particular relationship and now you feel like this is taking up more time than you want to give it is taking up more parts of yourself than you want to give and you want to end things right now that's perfectly fine too but figure out what you want because what you want is often the reason behind your sabotage for example if the sabotage is a cracker and i'm talking about 
uh, you know, the firecracker, not the one we eat. So if the sabotage in your heart is the firecracker, the want in your heart is the match that lights the firecracker and blows it up. And the act of blowing up is the act of squandering a relationship or taking a relationship for granted. So I hope this makes sense. So once you understand your want in your heart, now we have a scope for the next prompt. How to connect deeper. Now I want you to consider this in two ways. Now, first off, if you have decided that I want to continue nurturing the relationship in a positive way, in an empowering way, then how to connect deeper would be about exploring healthy ways of approaching that relationship, healthy ways in which you and the other person can interact with each other without it leading to any negative consequences for either one of you or both of you. But let's say you decided to end that relationship or to remove that person from your life right in that case how to connect deeper is a prompt for you to connect deeply within your own soul and deeply within your own physical being not with somebody else here the connection is not being formed with somebody else but how to connect deeper to your own desires and to your own values and to what you want personally for your own life a lot of times we are raised in this society where uh, our individual rec- needs and goals are often put on the back seat and the larger family or friend group uh, priorit- is prioritized. At least, you know, where I come from in India, the community has a greater importance than the individual. In other places, for example, in the US, the individual may, may have more importance than the community. So we all come from different regions, different environments. And so when I talk of how can I connect deeper, please customize the opinion and the insights that you're getting to your personal perspectives, to your personal cultural upbringing, to your personal requirements. How can you connect deeper with others or how can you connect deeper with yourself and your desires and stop feeling guilty for doing whatever you're choosing to do, whether it is connecting with the other person or connecting with yourself and Uh, putting yourself a priority as opposed to putting other people as a priority so that's the final prompt you know how can i connect deeper now when you have answered all these questions you should have ideally created a set of actionable checklists and milestones that you can achieve to actually implement in your life first off you will have identified what the issue is which relationships are problematic in your life and why they are problematic Secondly, you will have found out is there any toxic behavior that is that I am exhibiting whether consciously or unconsciously, knowingly or unknowingly that is sabotaging my relationships and that is also by extension sabotaging my peace of mind and my personal happiness. Then we found out, okay, we know that I'm sabotaging, we know these are the relationships that are problematic right now that are facing issues. But what is it that I truly want in my heart, in my deep, deep in my soul, deep in my heart? What is it that I really want? We figured out, figured that out as well. And finally, how can I connect deeply to what I want in my heart and manifest what I want in my heart? How can I connect deeply to another person if that's what I want? How can I put myself first and connect deeply with myself instead of others if that's what I want? So you would have given yourself the answers to solve your own problems right a lot of times we lack clarity because we don't ask ourselves the right questions but i hope that this particular journal prompt set for the month of august 2022 has done this for you it has given you the clarity and the steps that you need to take in order to improve your relationship with others and improve your relationship with yourself so give it a try and let me know what you think of course you don't have to come and comment over here this is a very personal and private experience but do try it out do see if it yields any positive results and if it helps you out and uh, i hope it does i hope it adds value into your relationships i hope it enriches your life personally and it enriches your relationships as well and i hope it offers you some peace of mind and comfort And if you've stuck around with me so far, thank you so much. I've tried this new uh, way of filming these journal prompt videos and I hope this helps.
thank you so much for watching be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and come back for more amazing videos on tales and text have a wonderful day bye bye